So today we're going to be forging with my friend Scott and his son Hunter, and we're making integral hunting knives and a chef's knife. Come on. You don't have to hit this really hard. You just want it to move. I want it to be flat, because I'm gonna definitely go back on the hammer. Yeah. See that little area right there? I don't like that, so yeah. I'm gonna fix that. Get hot again. We don't have to do any grinding in that area. We're just gonna grind where the bevels are. It'll be nice. All right, I'm just gonna tune it up some for you. So same thing we did in the first place. I'm coming here. So we still have mass. I just wanna resituate some of it. See how it's, it's thinner here than it is here? Yeah. That's good, because I'm gonna pull that down this way hit it right there, but you want it to come towards us. Right here? Yeah. So you want to give it like okay, this. Back. Yeah, like that. Bam. It's hot. All right, good. That's good. See how that's pointing towards us now? Yeah. That, that puts that underneath your fingers when you're pinching it. All right, now I'm going to tune the back up. It's going nice. What we're going to do, Scott, is set up this thing. We're going to cut them off and grind it a little bit because we have more we have more blade than we need. Okay. They're, they're, too, they're wider than we want them to be. Yep. Okay. So we'll clean up that profile. I'm trying to get the cupping, it cups a little bit. Man, that's going to be nice. Okay, what we're doing now is we're going to forge the tangs out. Do you like your knife shape? Yeah. You want to change it some? I would like. I would like it the top. The top was sharper. Kind of like how that one. Okay, we can do that. We'll take some of that off the back. I like it like that too. I didn't know if you were thinking about like that veggie cleaver style or what. So okay. All right, cool. We got that. We can. We can do that. Don't touch in there. We want to stay off of that. Like that? Yeah. All right, All right so get hot again. Okay. Don't even move. Yeah, there you go. Stay right there. Okay, now stop. Now quarter, yeah, quarter turn. Nice. Now quarter turn. Next stop. Quarter turn. Get in there. have more of this than you need. See like on yours, Hunter, we could just come over here. Get the, get the end part. Pull it out. Yeah, it's good. Awesome. Get out of here. Pretty close.
We're just gonna make that roll up just a little bit. Better? Yeah. Okay. That just makes it curve up more. See? subtle you know you can overdo it super fast tiger lilies look very elegant mine always are fat We'll take the rest off when we after we harden it. <laughs> now the area I really want to focus on, I don't want you fooling around back here, but like from here forward, I want you to follow, don't get it thinner, just bring that line back. Not flat, but your angle's gonna be like this. Just grab it here, so you grind from here to there. Okay. And we're just gonna follow this angle, just like this. You're not gonna be flat, you're gonna be like that. So what we gotta do now is normalize all that banging we did on there. It's very stressful to the steel, okay. and we have to do this so it doesn't have its feelings hurt so bad. Sure. That'll work. That'll be okay. So there's big grain, little grain, and they're all fighting against each other. So we want even, fine, uniform grain structure. So normalizing is hitting 1,500 degrees and not doing anything to it, just letting it cool down. So we'll do that three times, and then we'll quench them. And then we'll throw them in there and temper them, and then we'll, we're done. Pretty, right? That's why I have an orange truck. and Hunter are friends of mine from back in Charleston and I used to work for Scott at Gerald's Tires. So it's kind of funny to have them here and making a knife for them right now. What we did was forged, ground, and heat treated our two hunting knives and one chef's knife and uh, that was pretty cool. So now we're just gonna let them temper and then we'll be finishing them. And if you would like to see how you Put a handle on an integral knife and finish it. Watch the Forged Series 3. We are launching the Forged Heritage Series with a more intentional, direct focus on you and what you've requested. So the Forged Series is coming to you through Patreon. There's a lot of behind the scenes, uncut footage, and all the shenanigans that go on in the shop, plus hundreds of hours of how to make all the crazy stuff that I'm making. Subscribe to my Patreon today and be a maker.